Namu to welcome these eminent luminaries. May I once decision to open up two institutes, one in North East because that was the area I was also looking after. So we have already set up one in Agartala, Tirupara and the premises of the NIT and the second one we started from North, the Central University Jammu. And I must thank the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, he has been very supportive in all the science initiatives, particularly so in space technology. It is he who has been credited for unlocking the space. As I said, the space area was forbidden. Today we are also involving private players into this and the result is that the times to come will have space economy, space collaboration, space diplomacy, space conquest. Space economy has already started. Our launching pads are also now putting up satellites from several other countries, generating a revenue of several million euros and several million American dollars. Space collaboration has already started. It is India, the initiative of Prime Minister Modi, put up a SARC satellite which is catering to Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. Of course, Pakistan chose to keep itself away. And uh, so, space conquest in the sense and space, even recently you saw Ukraine when the signals went off, it sought support from some other countries to access satellite. So we are entering into an era where economy of the world and since India is going to play a global role is going to be hugely, hugely dependent on science and technology. And as far as India is concerned, we have already taken a lead as far as space technology is concerned. I always say we are in the 75th year of India's independence. Next 25 years are going to be crucial as the Honorable Prime Minister always keeps saying, Amrit Azadi Amrit Mohotsav. And the ascent of India 
as a frontline nation of the world has already started and it has started through the medium of space.